This here is Boom Studios Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comic, issue number 35. Whilst this is still part of Beyond the Grid, this doesn't exactly pick up from where the last issue left us. This actually is more of a standalone issue because it deals with Heckle telling Kimberly and Cam about his past. Specifically, how he became a Power Ranger. I think that's what most of us wanted. In Shattered Grid, we just saw a new ranger show up with no explanation. Heckle did say he came from further down the Dino Charge timeline, but there was no real explanation as to how he became the Dark Ranger. This is basically Boom Studios' continuation of the finale to Power Rangers Dino Supercharge, as it picks up from Xenowing and Heckle going through the portal to Sentai 6 before its destruction. So Heckle trains with Xenowing in the Keeper's Tower, but it will take him years of study before he can master the Keeper's magic. Heckle's goal is to protect Sentai 6. After all, he returns to Sentai 6 before it was destroyed by Arcanon, which means he will attack again one day. Heckle asks Xenowing if the Dark Energem in Xenowing's possession could be used to power a second Morpher. However, the Dark Energem is of course pure evil, so Xenowing shoots down the idea of using it to create a new Power Ranger. Xenowing would rather use their knowledge of what happened in the Dino Charge TV series to cloak the planet and make it unseen to Lord Arknon. However, Heckle is still haunted by his past and is worried that the past events would repeat themselves. Even though he's rid of Snide, he's still haunted by the darkness, hence the shadow he casts of Snide. Heckle works on the Dark Energem, wanting to use it to power another Morpher. And just like before, Lord Arcanon arrives at Sentai 6. So despite the force fields and the invisibility shields put in place, Lord Arcanon could apparently smell the darkness that had stained Heckle's soul, like how a shark smells blood through the water. In order to prevent Sentai 6 from being destroyed once again, Heckle goes to the Tower of the Keepers, where Xenowing sees him holding the Morpher. He pleads to Heckle not to morph, as his tactic could be the end of Sentai 6 as they know it. However, Heckle chooses to morph anyway, so he locks Xenowing away and inserts the Dark Energem into his Morpher. And that leads to the birth of the Dark Ranger. Now fully morphed, Heckle goes to fight Arcanon in space. It turned out that Arcanon came to Sentai 6 because he followed the signal of Heckle's Morpher. There's nothing really fancy about this fight. Heckle just holds onto Arcanon and then discharges some energy onto Arcanon, who then starts to float away from Heckle whilst burning up. Arcanon warns that he might die by the power Heckle has unleashed, but it will also kill him. Arcanon is then destroyed but his warning to Heckle was true, and the darkness he unleashed is now consuming him. He suffers in space seemingly without help from anyone, but as he's about to give up, Xenowing arrives and gets a hold of Heckle. He apologises to Xenowing for disobeying him and locking him up to go into battle as the Dark Ranger. Xenowing forgives him and gives him one final chance. He absorbs the darkness that was consuming Heckle, and then he floats away like Arcanon did and is also destroyed. So despite Xenowing being alive at the end of the TV series, he ends up dying in the past here in the comics. Heckle essentially became the guardian of Sentai 6 from that point, protecting it from any potential threats. He joined the Rangers because he heard Zordon's call for help in the Shattered Grid arc, so that explains his presence back then. With that story over, Kimberly and Cam have a better understanding of Heckle. It's a nice scene with a hint of humour, as Cam tells Heckle they're drinking a powerful elixir. It's actually bag tea from Ernie's juice bar. Kimberly explains that when drank by three people and exchanging words of sympathy, kindness and understanding, the people are transformed into friends. And so that's the end of Heckle's origin story for how he became the Dark Ranger. Now for Blue Centurion and Ninja, and its business as usual as the story continues, from where it left off in issue number 33. The Crybots attack Blue Centurion and Ninja, but even though there's only two of them, they manage to defeat all the Crybots easily. With Monsieur Muster defenceless, Centurion places Muster under arrest. 
Ninja sets the Invisible Portal, and as Muster gives the typical bad guy's last words when they're defeated, he's interrupted by Centurion dragging him through the Invisible Portal. That was actually a bit funny, to a very rushed final battle. What I liked about this issue was that we finally saw the origin of the Dark Ranger. It's great that it fits in with the continuity of the Dino Charge TV series, much like the other Ranger teams in Shattered Grid. I wish this origin story came a bit earlier though. Maybe the second issue of Beyond the Grid, because the standalone felt out of place considering where we're at in the storyline. Also the battle between the Dark Ranger and Arcanon was really short. It's almost like a one hit KO, and so it felt rushed. Having said that, the origin story was a nice break from Beyond the Grid, although there were direct parallels such as Arcanon hunting the Dark Energem down from Heckel, like the Praetor is hunting down the Solarix from Ari. The next issue should be business as usual, as we return to the main plot.